Hey, what's up everybody? Definitely been a long time no see, huh? Try to get my uh, chair here and stop, from stop squeaking, but anyway, how's it going everybody? Frankie Slauson here and welcome to my first actual video of 2013. Well, technically it's not my first video, but it's my first video I did on, that I have aired on YouTube. Uh, the actual first video that I ever did was on Facebook. If you go to my Facebook page, you can see the video that my buddy and I, or my buddy Mike and I, went to Grand Forks here um, a couple, about maybe not even a month ago, maybe about three three weeks ago or so. And we went and uh, had a good time. We went and saw the the movie The Last Stand with Arnold Schwarzenegger and did some shopping and stuff. Uh, so I didn't air it on YouTube because I was so busy with uh, all these interviews that I've that I've had to do, uh, or that I've done, uh, just recently, as you guys, uh, the true viewers, anyway, know what I'm talking about, the ones that have been following me since, uh, you know, since I first started doing all this stuff, uh, yeah, what a, what a rush, huh, <laughs> uh, well, I wanted to say thank you, a big thank you to everybody who, who actually viewed the interviews that I've done, I mean, it's not done with. I mean, I'm still going to do more eventually. Uh, just that right now, I'm kind of in a little bit of a pickle because, you know, as much luck as I've had uh, with doing some of these interviews, uh, you know, that you've seen uh, left and right that have been just coming and coming and coming, now I'm kind of in, in, in that little stage where I'm in a little bit of a pickle because, you know, I've sent out a bunch of requests out, you know, on Facebook, on emails and stuff like that, but yet... I either get no responses, or they'll, or on the email they have a thing where you can know if the person's seen it or not. It'll say seen if they've checked out, and some people don't even respond. Or I've got a couple people that have said not interested, and these are really good guests, like Tom Wilson from Back to the Future, uh, who played Biff. Uh, he doesn't do interviews with people unless he's uh, in the in the town that he's on tour at. That's what he that's what he told me or a, a while ago. He said. I don't do interviews with people unless they're unless they're in the town that I'm I'm at, and then we can do it live on location rather than uh, you know on our phone interview. Uh, and you know the thing that really kind of pissed me off though is just the fact that when people don't respond back, just checking to see if anybody's home here. When people don't respond back or whatever, you know, like a simple yes or a simple no. Even if you're not interested, at least do the common courtesy. If you got an email and you know that it's not spam or anything, to, to at least say, no, I'm not interested, but thanks for offering, you know. So a couple of people were nice enough to, you know, a few anyway were nice enough to respond back. But there's just a few that, you know, probably think that they don't have to respond back or think that my e the email that I sent out is spam. But it's, it's definitely not. I am definitely who I say I am. Uh, it's just hard. When you're not a big, when you're not a big, uh, player in the game it's hard to get your hard to get people to actually believe that you are who you say you are uh some people will only do uh mainstream radio or mainstream uh talk to mainstream people and you know they don't do much with the underground but i don't know if i call myself underground but it's more independently done because uh, i've done uh, i i find this you know i'm not getting paid for this i'm finding people that are just random you know that are uh, people that I think that the viewers, that you, the viewers, as well as me, the interviewer, would like to talk to and listen to and hear about. But anyway, I, I still got some guests coming up for the month of March. We're going to do something uh, res wrestling theme with the WrestleMania coming up pretty soon. In about, uh, well, let's see, it's about five weeks from now or five weeks from Sunday. Uh, WrestleMania, uh, WrestleMania 29 will be live in. Uh, uh, where is it going to be live in the, the, at the Met Stadium anyway? So I got a couple of people lined up. I'm not going to say who they are. There's just a couple of people that have to do with the rest of business. Uh, one who had a, I think these both these guys actually had a major role in wrestling uh, with what, what the jobs that they were doing currently and what they did back in the day. But anyway, you'll know them once you once you see them. But anyway, and then there's still this uh, an actor, uh, voice actor by the name of Eddie Deason. Uh, who uh, I'm sure most of you guys are familiar with, if you saw him in Greece or saw him in Midnight Madness, uh, we will be doing his interview. He'll be guest number 30, hard to believe already. But I, uh, you know, right now I'm just kind of, I'm going to start doing videos again because I, I, I want to and I miss doing that. And I feel like I'm taking enough uh, longer of a break now. Uh, 
I've taken a, enough break now to where I should start doing at least a video once or twice a week, uh, just because, you know, that's what YouTube is basically for. But I, I want to say thank you to everybody who who, who uh, sent nice comments about these interviews that I've done so far. Uh, I want to thank the guests that I've had on, I mean, for everybody who has said yes. And some of these people have been tough to get. Like, uh, Lee Marshall, okay, was tough to get because I had to really convince him that I was actually who I said I was, you know. Because if I didn't have proof that I had a show or a website, or, or anything like that, that he could see, so he knows that I am who I say I am, uh, he wouldn't have done it. Uh, either, or other, you know, he wouldn't have done it. So I had to convince him, and, and then he finally said, he said yes. And I thought, wow, that's pretty cool that, you know, we have to talk to Lee Marshall, who, uh, who was known for his stuff in wrestling, being a commentator at AWA and WCW, and a few other independent places that he did it. Uh, but he was also a radio announcer, uh, he's had lots of voice work, and of course, his big claim to fame right now is the fact that he's been the voice of Tony the Tiger, which I think is very cool. Very, very cool. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, as I'm looking right here. Uh, so my question to you guys, since we're talking about interviews today, uh, in this new vlog, for the first vlog of the year anyway, on YouTube, I, wanna, I want everybody that has, you know, taken the time to to, to view my material... Which guest was your favorite so far, and who who uh, which guest uh, really impacted, uh, got you really interested in listening to the interview in the first place? I'm pretty sure there's a there's a handful of people who would say like Michael Ray Bauer from, uh, from Salute Your Shorts or uh, Alex Vincent from uh, Child's Play, or maybe even uh, Lloyd Kaufman was fun to talk to, or Butch Patrick, or or. Uh, you know, even some of the news anchors that I've talked to from around this area, Terry Doolum or, and Hutch Johnson, or maybe you're into more like pro wrestling and you like the Matt Wade Osborne interview with uh, Dorothy the Clown, who was the original Dorothy the Clown, or uh, the interview I did with uh, Lanny Poffo, uh, which is Macho Man Randy Savage's uh, younger brother, or the interview that I did with Lee Marshall, like I was saying, uh, or maybe uh, the guest that I just recently had on uh, Adam the Woo, who was known for doing uh, interview or not interviews, but like uh, video logs when it comes to like around the towns, like video locations, movie locations, and stuff. You know, going to old uh, uh, like when I went to Astoria, Oregon, he does stuff like that. He find uh, homes that are or, or locations that were that were some of his favorite movies were filmed. Like he done the he's been to the Doc Hollywood locations, uh, uh, Daryl locations, and a bunch of other uh, things that he's done. It's unbelievable. Uh, um, um, unbelievable what he's able to do and now he's in california doing some touring because he's also in a band as well i think called gutter mouth i believe anyway you know it's just uh it's just been a thrill and, and you know so i, I definitely want to thank you guys and, and leave it leave some comments down below if you can um, who who was your favorite guest i really would like to know because maybe we'll have them on again sometime and when i say we i mean me you know because i'm a, i'm the one who's doing all this stuff uh, so I want to thank each and every guest that I've had on, whether they watch my stuff or they don't. Uh, that's irreverent. I think that's how well you say it. And there's still more to come, but I just want to just want to now start doing some vlogs again because I miss doing it. And uh, I know you guys miss uh, have me on. And and uh, who knows where we're gonna go from here? But I know in the next couple months. Uh, well, I'm hoping anyway. If it goes the way it's supposed to. I will hopefully be moving to Grand Forks, North Dakota, or East Grand Forks, Minnesota, and uh, finally living on my own again. You know, and when that happens, I'll definitely let you guys know, and we'll follow, let you follow me uh, along on the journey and all that, and uh, maybe do some daily videos while we're doing the move and stuff. Because uh, once I get back on my own, it's not going to be hard to hard to vlog again. Uh, it's just harder when you live with your parents, or and, and you don't know when. Well, you're gonna get a few minutes of quiet time, and right now I have that, but but right now, but it's only because they went out and got some pizza, you know. <laughs> so I had a few minutes to just uh, whip out the camera and talk a little bit. Uh, I might be doing a package opening video. Maybe in the next one, I'm gonna probably show kind of what I've uh, some of the DVDs that I've gotten. You know, since I've done a, a DVD review in a long, long time, and also uh, some audio equipment that I got. That I'll show you in the next video from uh, TurtleBeach.com. Actually, from Amazon.com, but it was still Turtle Beach. Turtle Beach stuff. Have you ever heard of Turtle Beach before? 
there might be a place called Turtle Beach that you could, that's a resort, but uh, this is an electronical place that sells uh, headphone equipment, gaming equipment, and uh, audio equipment. So I'll show you that in the next video as well as some of the DVDs. There'll be more like a general update, I'm sure, uh, than anything else. Other than that, uh, everything's been going great. Life is life has been going all right. Still working at the American. Uh, you know, it is what it is, I guess. And, yeah, so. <laughs> well, anyway, let me know in the feedback in the comments below what you guys thought of the, the interviews. And uh, who would you like me to try to find if I could? Because I've asked that before and nobody ever once responded. So maybe this time, since I'm asking you in a video, maybe you'll respond. Anyway, I'm Frank Slauson, and thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.